Good morning, everybody, from day six. I am at the Toxaway River campsite. I am mostly packed up, my tent's down, and um, I'm just gonna have some breakfast here, getting ready to head out. Heartbreak Ridge is first climb of the day, um, right down that way. And then there's another climb immediately after that. My plan today is I'm just gonna stick with my original plan and go to Virginia Hawkins campsite this evening. Um, maybe spend some time at the Virginia Hawkins waterfall. Um, just have a, a shorter day at 8.5 miles. And then tomorrow the plan is to go to the Cantrell house site, which I think is 10.3 or something after um, Virginia Hawkins. And then the next day is to the car at Table Rock. So basically I have 23 miles left to go. Um, I think some of my um, group that I've been hiking with, my new hiking friends, are planning on doing 13 today and 13 to the car tomorrow, but I think I'm just going to take a little more time and enjoy a little bit of the trail today. So that's my plan. I will check in with you at Heartbreak Ridge. Wish me luck. All right, everybody. I'm leaving the Toxaway River campsite. Here's Lake Jocassi I'm walking by. <laughs> All right, I'm heading towards Heartbreak Ridge. First climb this morning. So peaceful walking along the lake this morning and hearing the birds and the frogs. So cool. Nice way to start the day. I think I'm coming up to the last campsite on the lake. This is where I was hoping to camp last night, but I did not have the energy to make it down here, y'all. And it is not that far. I just did not have it in me. And that's okay. It's a beautiful spot. Just beautiful. The fish are jumping this morning. There's a fire ring and a picnic table. Um, I wouldn't say there's one flat spot right there. This way towards Heartbreak Ridge. Well, everybody, here I am. Uh, 300 steps to the top, and it's like a ladder. Wish me luck. Okay, I might be at the top, or I might have 30 more steps. I'm not sure. Of Heartbreak Ridge. That was ridiculous. Basically, you're coming up the steep, sketchy riverbank on a ladder. I can't call those stairs. And being 5'3", y'all, if you're short, do some leg presses in the gym or something before you get out here because a lot of times my knees were up to my chest trying to take a step up and it's straight up. So really, really, really hard. My quads are burning. My glutes are burning. I need to wait a few minutes for my muscles to recover before I can keep going. Woo, that was tough. Okay, I seem to be going down now, so I think that was the top. Yay! But now I have 292 of these going down. Beautiful view of Lake Chakassi from up on Heartbreak Ridge. Beautiful. Still making my way down. Ugh, I just got through that blow down. That was not easy. It looks easier than it was. A lot of blowdowns on this trail. I've had pretty big blowdowns every day, but we did just have some storms right before I started this trail. And I've heard from other hikers that there are already trail maintainers out taking care of the blowdowns. So thank you, trail maintainers. Now I'm at this beautiful creek and this bridge, and I'm about to start another climb. It's so beautiful. This must be Rock Gap Campground, everybody. Nice and flat, couple of benches, fire ring, beautiful water source. It's a good one if you can make it over Heartbreak Ridge. Okay, I just walked a little farther and there's some more benches and another fire ring over here. So this is actually bigger than I thought. Okay, yep, Rock Creek Campsite. I'm 1.2 from camp this morning. 4.5 to Laurel Fork Falls. Well, hello, welcome to my first break, not very far into my day. 
But I climbed up from there and decided before I finished this second climb of the morning, monster climb, that um, my legs needed a little more recovery after Heartbreak Ridge. So I'm sitting here by a tree. I'm gonna have second breakfast. And yesterday I got really dehydrated. So I'm gonna focus on rehydrating. There's a water source at the top of the second climb, just over the top. So I am gonna camel up and hopefully not have to carry too much water up this climb and then I'll refill my water at the top of this climb. So just wanted to check in everyone. It's a hard day as usual. It's the Foothills Trail. <sighs> it's beautiful though. All right, everybody, I'm leaving Gorgeous State Park now. Yay, no more climbing in and out of Gorgeous. <laughs> All right, I'm still doing this one mile climb after Heartbreak Ridge. See you at the top. I love that they put this sign here because typically you would go right up that on the foothills trail it doesn't look steep but it's straight up y'all so it's nice to know that actually i'm going down i think i may have finished that second monster climb after toxaway river that one was rough y'all <sighs> all right now i'm gonna make my way down to the river or the water source coming up and I'm going to take a break there, have another snack. I am starving today. I think my hiker hunger is kicking in. Take a, a snack there and refill my water. And then I will carry on. All right, stopped and got water. It was a little hiker hub, so chatted with some people. Now, just doing a slow, steady climb on this forest service road. Or some kind of logging road or something. Um, but this is nice compared to what I've already done today. Ugh, so many of these. I've already gone under three, I think. These are like too low to go under, too high to go over. Ugh. All right, this may be where the Forest Service Road journey ends. I'm gonna go back on trail. The Red Gate, dun dun dun. All right, I think I have about 5.3 more miles left to camp. Hooray, hooray for a short day today. Okay, so the trail has been paralleling this road down here, y'all. And it has just been going up and down and up and down and up and down. Meanwhile, you could just walk on the road and be flat the whole time. Why trail, why? I'm going back down to the road. This is my second time going back down to the road. I feel like if I start following the road, then the trail's gonna go in a different direction, away from the road. Oh. Foothills Trail. They pick the hardest route possible, I think. Okay, see what I mean? Here I am on the trail. There's the road. Now I'm going up. And the trail continues to parallel the road. The road is very flat. But I can guarantee you there's going to be some up and down on the trail. Puds. Puds on the Foothills Trail. Okay, it looks like the trail is finally diverging away from that road. So I'm glad I stayed on the trail. Oh wait, I can see the road over there. Ay ay ay. All right, again, road over there. But I'm going way down into this gully and way back up on the other side. Road is flat. Oh, and I can see is way back there. Okay, after climbing a ridiculous number of puds, some of which were extremely steep. I'm coming out onto the road again. Same road. Looks like this time I cross it and go up the other side. Yay, more up. Okay, I just stopped for lunch at a campsite with some hiker friends I've met on trail. Now I'm back on trail. But look, I only have 22.6 to the end. Woohoo! And I've done 53.6. Wow. All right, let's carry on. Laurel Four Falls, everyone. Beautiful. All right, this is Laurel Four Falls campsite, everyone. Oh, and it has its own suspension bridge. 
you ever want to camp at the top of a waterfall, this would be the place to do it. All right, it looks like I'm heading straight. So pretty. Although it's been a lot of climbing, it's been a lovely section. We've been hiking next to this creek or river, crossing it on these cool bridges every once in a while. So pretty. So picturesque. Very pretty section. I'm at Virginia Hawkins Falls. I walked up here from the campsite to see them. So, so, so pretty, everyone. Hawkins Falls. Beautiful. Well, hi everyone. Bravestone is beat. Got my tent explosion happening behind me. And I am getting ready to make some ramen for dinner tonight in a little bit. Whew, okay, so let's do a wrap up of day six. If I can hold the camera steady. All right, day six began at the Toxaway River campsite. Beautiful, beautiful spot. We saw Bald Eagle. Um, that place is really, really, really nice. Um, soaked feet in the river. That was lovely and refreshing. Left there, and the first climb after that is Heartbreak Ridge, as you saw. That was really tough. You're basically ladder climbing out of a very steep river bank um and there are 300 stairs but they're not stairs everyone it's it's climbing a ladder um and climbing a ladder with a pack on which is constantly pulling you backwards and you're trying to go straight up the side of a cliff on a ladder basically there were also some sketchy parts where they put these stairs around tree roots and so you're trying to navigate this ladder around these tree roots that i never trust and a lot of them moved some of the stairs actually around the tree roots also moved um they were very loose some of the stairs had decayed completely and there were pieces just of rebar sticking out of the ground after heartbreak ridge um climbed back down and did the second monstrous climb of the day which was really 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 steep and very tough um walked on after that we basically walked on a forest service road climbing for six miles um so pretty much all day every day on this trail for all six days has has been climbing everyone there have been maybe if i collect them all together maybe six or seven miles of downhill going this way total um and i think if you came from table rock to oconee you'd be doing a lot of descending, but I don't think that would be any easier because it's such a steep descent that they're very difficult and, and very long. So either way, whether you're climbing or whether you're descending, this trail is just not an easy trail, period. Um, so after um, we climbed on that forest service road or that logging road for a good long while, um, mostly that was a gentle, steady climb nothing like you know the steep stuff that we've had so that was good we stopped for lunch at a campsite and i ate with other hikers and then we continued on and after that um after we finished that logging road section we started kind of weaving in and around this creek area and just following the creek the trail was following the creek but all day it's been so hot and exposed to everybody it's been 85 degrees 
there is no shelter from the sun. I mean, it's just beating down on you the entire time. But I was so hot, everybody, that I had to stop. Um, it's just safer for me to do that. And um, I would rather not get heat exhaustion or heat stroke and hike in the rain on Friday. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm here at Virginia Hawkins campsite. I did 8.5 miles today. I spent some time soaking my feet in the river. That was lovely. I'm gonna probably do that one more time. I walked up to the Virginia Hawkins waterfall um, and got some video of that. And I'm just rehydrating, um, drinking some water. I got some water down at the river. I've got some of my laundry, um, my socks. <laughs> hanging up to dry out because they were just filled with sweat. I just sweat buckets today. It was extremely hot and I did not bring enough electrolytes. So thankfully another hiker had electrolyte pills like tablets and basically salt pills. So she gave me some. So I took some of those earlier um, and I'm gonna put some salt packets in my dinner tonight um, to try to compensate a little bit for that. But it was a very, very, very hot day. So eight and a half miles from Toxaway River to the Virginia Hawkins campsite, I, I needed to stop. And sometimes you just have to listen to your body. You know, my body was done. I am really, really tired. This trail is very hard. So I'm glad to be here um, early and I am just gonna do some self care. I'm gonna roll out my feet. I am going to cook myself a delicious nourishing dinner. I am going to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. <laughs> it's funny that for dinner I'm having ramen. <laughs> So that'll be another two cups of water that I get with my dinner. Plus I'm gonna, you know, camel up quite a bit and make sure that I am really well hydrated for before I leave tomorrow. All right, but that is the end of day six, everybody. So I will see you in the morning. Thanks so much for watching. Good night. <music>